Hi guys, my name is Louie, and in this video, we'll be doing a crowd pleaser, spaghetti carbonara. All, you, all you'll need for this recipe is 5 ounces of pancetta, 1 ounce of pecorino romano, 1 ounce of parmesan, some eggs, some pepper, some salt, some olive oil, and then some pasta. Okay, so now you just want to set a big bowl of a big pot filled with water on high heat to bring to the boil. Then around two tablespoons of olive oil in a very large pan that we'll be using later. And then you want to dice up your pancetta into large cubes. Remember, the cubes will shrink, so you want them to be bigger than you want in the end product. Then you just want to place your cubes of pancetta or guanciale, ideally, but I couldn't find any, in your pan, along with that olive oil from earlier. And remember, always, always salt your pasta water. Probably the saddest thing on earth is having some unsalted pasta. So now you want to drop your pasta in the water, very careful, we don't want anybody to get burnt. And I'm using bucatini pasta, which is a bit thicker than spaghetti, so it picks up the sauce a bit better. And then you're just gonna slowly keep on pushing the pasta down until it's on. Now that your pasta is fully submerged in the water, you, you wanna make your custard, your custard sauce thing, which will consist of five whole eggs and two egg yolks. A lot of people fail to separate egg yolks because they do it really difficult. All you have to do is just go in with a clean hand and do it with your hands. It makes it so much easier. Then using the shell, because the problem with doing it with the shell is that the shell is often too sharp and it'll break the egg. And now you want to grate your cheese. And then once all of your cheese is grated, you're going to add it into the, um, into the eggs. Okay, now that all your cheese is grated, you just want to place it in the eggs. Yeah, so a lot of people think that in carbonara there's cream, but there really isn't. Cream is what restaurants use because it prevents the pasta from sticking together, but traditional carbonara just uses eggs cheese to create, the, and pasta water to create the, uh, the creaminess of the carbonara. And yeah, okay, so. Now that your eggs and cheese are combined, you just wanna add a lot of pepper. Because carbonara originates from the coal miners, and the pepper acts as like your coal in the pasta. And just whisk that all together. So yeah, carbonara is just eggs, cheese, your choice of meat, and a lot of pepper and pasta. Okay, stop. okay, turn the heat of the boiling water off once it's ready. And then you want to save some of the pasta water. This is going to be, I this this is going to be 100% necessary when we uh, start uh, tossing everything together. And then I'm going to go strain this on a colander. Okay, now that you have your strained pasta and your pasta water, you just want to put the pasta in the pan with the bacon and olive oil. Not, not the bacon, the pancetta. And toss. The heat must be off here. If the heat is on, that'll completely ruin the entire thing. The heat from the pan should be enough. And then you want to add in your eggs. Your egg and cheese mixture. And you just want to vigorously toss. until everything is well incorporated and the eggs are cooked. You do not want the eggs to scramble. Okay, so now, in order to get that ideal creaminess, you're just gonna add in some pasta water a little bit at a time. 
and then keep on vigorously mixing. The vigorous mixing will stop the eggs from scrambling. It'll help a lot. And then just keep on adding pasta water until your desired thickness and keep on vigorously mixing. Okay, now that your pasta is ready, you just wanna twist it. And then place it on your bowl. And then you wanna add on top some freshly grated Parmesan and some pepper. And you're ready to eat. Yummy!